All right, so you're here tonight for the Southeast premiere of Bloodworth, which you wrote, produced, and actually starred in as well, correct? Uh, indeed. And so tell me about your character. Uh, the character that I'm playing in the film or, or my personal character? Wow. Either or, but preferably the one you play in the film. I would hope those two are vastly different because the character I'm playing in the film is uh, a very messed up and evil person of sorts. Um, the, Brady plays, uh, I, I'm one of Christopherson's sons. And um, the story is, in essence, that his character abandoned the three of us, which is Val Kilmer and Dwight Yoakam and myself. And we've not seen him since we were little boys. And then he shows back up in our lives. So mine is the one that, that never left home, still lives with mom, Mama, and is very twisted and dark. Which is very different from the real Earl Brown. Uh, I would like to think so. And what inspired you to take on this project? When I read the book um, nine years ago, it's based on provinces of night. I, uh, it just struck a chord within me. And I saw myself in, in the character of, of Fleming, which is Reese's character. And, you know, that, I mean, that's the, that's the goal of any story, that it's universal, that people see their own life experiences. And I definitely did. He was, uh, um, you know, a character that spoke to me. So the book always hung with me. And I'm a music freak. So the fact that it's a musician it was another thing. It all just kind of fit together for oh, you. Yeah. So now you're back this year for the second year in a row, and it's a bit of a bigger premiere for you this year. What's it like being well, back? Well, last year we showed, we had our first cut, and we decided after, after screening it for audiences, we knew there were parts that we could tighten. So we decided be beforehand that go, we were going to make some changes. So last year we played it as a work in progress. We had played it on the West Coast and seen it with that audience and then bringing it here. So we wanted to see, well, how does an audience, I mean, it's set in Tennessee. So the, for the most part, the folks from around here are going to know much more of the culture and understand growing up like that. So we, we decided to go ahead and play it and see where the audience respond and where. So it was just very informative for us when we're gonna go back in and tighten the story. Um, so we counted it as a work in progress last year. It's kind of a dress rehearsal for you. Yeah. Well, when you have a big studio film, I mean, all the studio films do test screenings where they literally will bring in an audience and they ask them questions and they score them. Well, when you're on a, a small film like this, you know, an independent, we can't afford to do that. And, and when you're bringing, you know, your, your friends and people that already know the story or know you, it's different from an audience that doesn't know the story at all. So, you know, I'm a definite believer in, in just bringing in that fresh audience. So... That's what last year was, and it's paid off, you know, that we've been picked up by Sony, and uh, they're releasing it through the Samuel Goldwyn Company, and on and away. Well, we're very honored to have it back here, and also, you had a role on Deadwood. I did. Now, is it, do you miss being able to use that much profanity on a daily basis? Who says I don't? <laughs> That's a good point. Ex except I don't speak an iambic pentameter. <laughs> so you can tease it a little more freely then. <laughs> yeah, I have a full range of expression. I've minded my manners here. I've been, you know, I'm told. And in front of my daughter, I'm very quickly, you know, she very quickly points out when I use inappropriate words. I'm sure you don't want her picking up that, uh, that language yet, right? <laughs> you think I don't. Or, uh, you should hear her mother or grandmother. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us and best of luck tonight. Thank you.